Oh, hey, didn't see you there. What's up, everybody? I'm Tyler of Chico Crypto Consultants, here for another day to break down the day in crypto. To begin, Bitcoin upwards of $4,500 right now. Actually, there was a great um, article written by one of the Goldman Sachs analysts. She has predicted correctly what Bitcoin was going to do, and she just made a new prediction. So she says that Bitcoin could raise another $300 up to the $4,800 range and then lose about half of its value. In my opinion, she has been right the last two times, but you can't predict the crypto market. So everyone, viewers out there, just be aware that we could be seeing a correction coming in the future. Be ready to get your value into places that's going to hold its value, such as USD Tether, tether it to the dollar, keep your value, just be ready. So to begin us out, I'm going to give you some updates on NEO, my favorite cryptocurrency. Um, NEO is currently trading in the low 40s. In my opinion, it's a great time to buy. Only good things are going to come from NEO. Gas, it's um, currently trading at $33 a share. And I cannot wait until gas is being used on the NEO platform to initiate smart contracts and run smart contracts. We will see the price of NEO and gas both skyrocket. The upcoming ICOs, gas going to Bitrex, I don't see anything but the price going up from here unless the whole crypto market takes a dump. So Vitalik of Ethereum, the developer, had a talk at NUS this morning during which he talked about the direction they're going to be going with Ethereum. One interesting thing I want to raise here, um, Ethereum wants to include a BFT style proof of stake as well, but it's the same as NEO. They're probably not going to do the complete switch, but something like a hybrid. And it implies that the protocol of NEO is very promising, and if Vitalik wants to use it, it's good news for NEO. If we have Ethereum following in NEO's footsteps, it's going to be a good thing. So actually, there was a um, Ethereum conference in Singapore, and we had a guy hold up a Buy NEO sign. I'll show you a picture of that right now. It's pretty interesting, funny. Um, Wish that guy would have put his address on that sign that sent him maybe a Neo or two. So next I want to talk to you guys about is uh, Monaco. The payment coins have been seeing a intense boom recently. All my Go, 10X, Metal Pay, all have been seeing huge increases. Luckily, I got in on Monaco a few days ago and have been able to rise with the 100%, 200% increases. It's been great for my investment portfolio. So, I could see Monaco going up past 10x in terms of market value, and that would give it a current price, five times its price. So, let's go over the white paper of Monaco just to give you guys an update. Um, let you guys know what it does. In my opinion, it's a great investment. The payment coins are going to be big in the future. And there's been rumors of Monaco teaming up with Visa. So let's go over it. The main components of Monaco is you can spend your Ether or Bitcoin with a physical Monaco, Monaco card. Wherever cards are accepted, both online and offline. Only the exact amount you spend with your Monaco, Monaco card will be incrementally exchanged from ETH or Bitcoin in real time when you swipe your card, with the rest being securely stored in your wallet to which you only have access. You exchange the money at a perfect interbank exchange rate using the Monaco app. You can send money from Monaco app in 23 currencies to 120 countries worldwide for free. So it's opening the market not only here in the Western world, but there's actually rumors of Monaco getting listed on Binance. 
which opens the coin to the Chinese market. So we're going to see some increases. And actually customer onboarding can be done entirely on the Monaco app. And it's a process that takes less than three minutes. Ease of use, always a good thing to get into the cryptocurrencies. So now let's um, dig a little bit deeper into the white paper. So the features are definitely something that Monaco has been putting across and wanting their users to know. So in order to receive the Monaco card, our customers need to download the Monaco app and go through the onboarding process, which includes a remote Know Your Customer. So they will issue and send the Monaco card to customers free of charge. You fund your accounts with either Ether or Bitcoin, and hopefully they'll get more cryptos in the future. So let's go on to see what Monaco is trading at actually right now. This can barely see outside. So Monaco is actually trading at 1148 right now. When I just looked a few minutes ago, it was down to 10, and last night it was upwards of 13. In my opinion, like I said, it's going to take over 10x, and that's a five times price increase we're going to be seeing from Monaco. So viewers out there definitely get yourself into one of the payment coins in my opinion monaco is one of the more severely undervalued of the payment coins all my go has been seeing a huge increase in volume but it's already listed on most chinese exchanges once it gets onto more western exchanges we'll see an increase but i don't think we'll see the increases that we can see from monaco because it is only limited to Western exchanges and once Chinese floodgates are open, as we know, the money starts pouring in. So you guys, I thank you for watching me. This has been a pleasure sharing my knowledge with you guys. I appreciate all the watches and have a great day. I'm out.